This is how to become the deadliest solo in Arena Breakout. Teamies in general divide into two groups. One of them have a lot of friends, they win, lose, laugh together, but the other ones are always alone. Like I myself suffer from a crushing loneliness which drags me further and further every day into a deep dark pit of depression and anxiety and pain and misery and... But it's not about me. So basically, I'll give you the best tips I could come up with, or I should say the best tips known to humankind to become a better solo. So the tip number one think fast forget about those guys who's like you gotta be patient nah -uh, you don't want to be patient if your enemies find out that you're solo you're done you're totally done although you can be patient before engaging but after you shot your first bullet you gotta do it as fast as you can and by thinking fast i mean you gotta make decisions faster than at least three guys like imagine there's a full team and you took down the first one now there's three left now the only thing that you don't want to happen is to let them flank you or take positions because like come on you're alone you can't and watch everywhere and since you're alone there's a high chance of you getting third party so just do it quickly i promise you if you think fast enough and use the element of surprise you'll see how much easier it is to wipe a squad just like what you're watching i'm pushing menacingly and not giving them enough time to make decisions and thinking fast doesn't always mean to push fast you can also hold some angles which you think they might peek from but still holding angles might go wrong so i'd prefer to push now the second tip which a lot of you guys might not agree with more protected equals better different armors protect different parts and if you're running solo every broken limb means at least 10 seconds of being afk and since you don't have anyone to cover you while you're healing the only thing you can do is to cry so wear more protected armors dude but i want to be fast okay then the next time which you got three broken limbs and you had to spend at least 50 seconds on fixing them don't blame me being just a bit faster doesn't help you with anything well, it helps with something, but it's not as important. And also, if you play with heavy armors for long enough, you'll get so used to it, you don't even notice the difference. You really gotta stop hating my boys. Alright, now the third tip, which could be the most important tip, but I saved the most important for the last. Use angles. Listen, dude, you're not Superman, and this is not Warzone. You'll get down by like three bullets, and if you want to take all four in one go, you'll find yourself in the lobby. Use every obstacle, room, doorways, windows to create distance between your enemies and their teammates. And now, just keep this in mind. Try to peek from the right angles. By peeking from the left angle, you'll expose way more part of your bodies than peeking from the right. And if you use angles on time correctly, you'll have four 1v1s, not a 1v4. Which is so simple, right? So, use your brain, not your superpowers, which I know you have. So, the tip number four don't spend too much. If you're a solo player, you have to know that you are your only hope to bring back your stuff. Like, if you die, no one's going to bring back your precious 240k H4. So always go with a cheaper version of your usual loadout and keep your favorite stuff for a time which you're gonna play with your friends. It doesn't matter how good you are or how safe you play, if you're solo, you will lose it. You just have to plan on earning more than your loadout. And as you know, earning 200k is way easier than earning 1 million. Million. So don't play it brave, keep your stuff for a right moment. Tip number 5. Use solo friendly tacticals. As you're solo, being pushed by a whole squad at some point is unavoidable. But thanks to some tacticals, we have a solution. Gas grenade and decoy. Like bro, you can buy two teammates with just 10k. By using decoys, firstly, they won't know you're alone and secondly, they won't flank you. And also, the chance of getting third party goes way down. But still, let's say you use the decoys but they didn't fall for it. Now what? Exactly, gas grenades. By using gas grenades, you can block your enemy's way to you. And if they were brave enough and pushed through the gas, you will have their exact location as they're constantly coughing. As you just saw, explosives can also come in handy. So, don't forget to use them too. Now the next tip, don't be greedy. This is one of those mistakes which not just gets you killed solo, but gets you killed even in a squad. But when it comes to solo, it's more important. Look, I'm giving you this tip, right? But I don't even act like it. Sometimes it's like, mm, bro, they're dead, I can loot now. But you can't. Control yourself, or else you'll get like this. Tip number seven, rotate to win. 
Listen, I mean it. The biggest mistake a solo player can make is to stand still in a position. Since you're solo, you're the easiest target to flank. So even if you got a tiny bit of time to flank, don't waste it. We have so many different rotations, but the one I suggest for a solo player is the fallback one. Since the enemies are in front of you, you either go left, right, or back. If you go left or right, they might choose the opposite and get you from behind, but if you fall back, they won't come from behind you. Or, if you couldn't fall back, choose an area with more obstacles in it. And simple as that, we got him. Alright, now the last and the most important tip. Do not play solo. I know, it was supposed to be a deadly solo tip video, but this one is actually more helpful than the other ones. So don't play solo, subscribe, and get rich. Love you all, see you in a bit.